Assalamualaikum. I am Encik Ahmad Alba. I work as a junior actuarial executive for now. I am working with AZM Takafu in Ipoh Perak. I has been working with this company for almost 10 months now. Based on my work experience so far, I aware that I need to find a tax return. However, currently I has not registered for tax because I was uncertain about the process. Therefore, I plan to visit the nearest Inland Revenue Board Malaysia branch to obtain detailed information on the application of tax registration. One hour later, I have a problem about the process of tax registration can you explain to me about it oh about that yes yeah, sure let I explain about that <laughs> cell assessment system according to section 82 individual carrying on a business to keep document and retain in safe if you do not keep the record for the requirement period, you will be charged on the revenue for each tax year concern. Submission of Return Returns Tax form that need to be filled in, sign in and send back to RIB by taxpayers. There are different types of return for different categories of taxpayer. For you, Encik Ahmad Halbab, since you are working as a junior actuarial executive, you will be categorized as individual with employment income, which is a form PE. You must fill form PE because you are a resident individual who does not carry on business. For your assessment 2018, Form BE must fill in deadline before 13 April 2019 and e filing submission deadline 15 May of 2019. Alright, next, written assessment. First, written. Taxpayer has submit written form for year 2019 in year 2020. Alright, the written form must submit at least at 13 April of following year. 2. Assessment. Assessment is a notice in a writing issue by the tax authorized to the taxable person. Is that the amount of income tax payable? An assessment notice is unknown as the Form J. For individuals on the self assessment in 2014, the return of Form B is deemed to be notice of the assessment on the day is submitted. Okay? <laughs> okay. 
responsibility of employer which is the SDN Takaful Schedule test deduction First, to deduct an amount of the tax monthly of eligible employees with Encik Ahmad Albaw Such deduction must be remitted to RMB on or before 10 days of the next month Yes, remember And must submit form CP59 at the end of year Alright, what is the responsibility of employee which is Encik Ahmad Halbaw? So once Complete the form with the complete and correct disclose Second, sign in from BE Third, submit from BE on or before 13 April of the next year Remember ya Four, settle tax liability within stipulate time Five, keep proper record for at least six years of assessment Lastly, inform any change of address in writing within three months, if any. Okay. Next, penalty. Section 112, clause 1. As a taxpayer, Encik Amahal Bob has a duty and responsibility to government in relation to income tax. Payable under the Act, government takes a serious view of the this office as a failure to notice or furnish a written. We slow down the administration cycle. All right, types of penalty. First, penalty for variation of installment. When installments. Payment variance and automatic a penalty will be imposed if the final tax liability exceeds the total installment payment by more than 13%. The penalty will be 10% of the difference which exceeds 13 of the tax payable. Okay? Second, penalty for late payment. An installment payment should be met within 13 days from due date as stated in the notice. Late payment on any installment will attract an automatic penalty of 10% of the installment amount. No penalty will be imposed if the installment is paid on or before that 30 days. Okay, Encik Amal Bob. Next, appeals. When there is no agreement within the taxpayer and RMB, non-dispute tax issue, taxpayer can exercise his rights to appeal to SPM Com and the courts. Section 99 plus 1. When taxpayer, oh yang cik am, cik am hal bab, dis-testified with the team noted of assessment or additional assessment, and cik am hal bab should write to tax authorize to object within 13 days of the date of deemed notice of assessment then the appeal will be forwarded to the special commission rise of income tax if Ajam Halbab cannot appeal within 13 days of period he can apply for extension of the time to submit the appeal using and form 
Alhamdulillah, finally I have understood about the process. I will apply for tax registration soon. Thanks for your details explanation to me. Welcome. My pleasure.